All right, so I know this isn't quite perfect, but I feel it's important to get the message out. So what we're looking at here today is, my name is Colin, I'm with 833 cost per mile. And I wanted to show you how much money you're making or losing running at $2 a mile or miles. So we ran 12,000 miles. We averaged $2 a mile or miles, which equals 24,000. So actually including our deadhead, we were probably running at about 220 to 230 a mile. Now one thing that I do with my trucks is I take 30 cents out of every mile and I put it towards the maintenance fund, which you can see here, 30 times 12,000 is 3,600. Now my maintenance fund is gonna cap at 15,000. So once I have taken enough money to hit the $15,000, we will quit taking money out of the profit and applying it to the maintenance fund. So as you can see here this month, we had $3,600 in there, zero maintenance. So we still have 3,600. Now, if I would bought a thousand dollars worth of tires, this number would be a thousand and this number would be 2,600. Now, as you can see, the line hole was 24,000. That was a hundred percent of our revenue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. Actually, let me open this up. My truck payment is $2,750 a month, which equals 22 cents a mile when that's divided by 12,000, which is 11.45% of my gross revenue. My accounting, one truck, one trailer, for us to do all the paperwork, it's $149.99. So the way this is going to work is you call in, we get you signed up, we put all your truck information in, then every time you buy fuel, every time you get a rate confirmation, every time you buy a pair of gloves, work boots, anything related to the truck, you send us a picture of the paperwork and we go ahead and do all the data entry. So at least once a week, you will know exactly what your profit has been for that number of days of the month. So my bookkeeping is $149.99. Communication is about 109. All the trucks have tablets, and by the time we go through the tablets and the cords, that's about $69 a month. I put $40 a month for the cost of the ELD. So as you can see here, the bookkeeping cost me a penny a mile. These numbers are too low, so it doesn't actually show the cost per mile. Um, expenses is just some miscellaneous stuff. Now, if we move on up to fuel, I use the national average of $4.60 per gallon, six miles per gallon. So 12,000 divided by six was 2,000 gallons. So 2,000 gallons times 4.6 is $9,200. So my fuel cost was 76 cents per mile. My DEF, we're averaging 250 to 300 miles to a gallon of DEF. So that worked out to a penny a mile. So my total fuel cost is actually it's 78 cents because this does multiple points, but we just don't show it here because it's too confusing. So my total fuel cost is 39% of my gross revenue of $2 per mile. Okay, so it's 78 cents. 
insurance. My total insurance cost is fourteen fifty a month. That's twelve cents per mile, or six percent. And my trailer insurance is around a hundred dollars a month. My accident insurance, which is similar to a workers' comp policy here in Texas, is $150 a month or a penny a mile. My truck insurance is $1,200 a month, which is 10 cents per mile. Now, what I did for the scales was I estimated 10 scale tickets so that's $130 a month, which works out to a penny a mile. Tax and license. Cab card, I went with $1,200 for the year. Highway use tax is $550. So those two numbers divided out total $145, which is a penny a mile. Now, the factoring cost is of um, $24,000, 3% of $24,000 was $720. The trailer payment is $1,000. So out of $24,000, $1,589, $894.97 was what it cost to run the truck. Plus, we have the $3,600 that went to the maintenance fund. So it's still cash that's available, but it needs to go in the maintenance fund. So that brings our grand total of expenses down to 19,494.97 with a gross revenue of 24,000. Now this driver makes 55 cents a mile plus tax, which cost me 59 cents. So this truck at $2 a mile for 12,000 miles, lost $2,574.97. Or we can just say we lost 21 cents for every mile that we drove. But that was after we paid the driver his 55 cents. So if you're an owner operator, you now drove this truck for 34 cents a mile plus paid your social security, or you take this 34 cents and you take the 30 cents per mile from your maintenance fund. So now you drove for 64 cents a mile, but if you break down, you have nothing left to repay your truck. This is why you cannot haul cheap freight. And remember, this was $2 a mile, all miles. So a lot of guys are averaging 10 to 20% of deadhead. So 10% would mean you had to average 220 a mile on your loaded miles at 20% deadhead, you had to average 240 a mile. So if you're running for under $2 a mile, I'm sure the broker really appreciates you putting 21 cents in their pocket every mile you drive or just giving away $2,574.97. Now, husbands, don't let your wife see this. You might be becoming a company driver. Questions, updated numbers. If you'd like me to punch your numbers in, please leave a comment. Please like. This will be available 
for us to provide the service here starting within the next two weeks. One of the other things we do is we send you emails that updates your, reminds you about your DOT physicals, etc. You'll be seeing lots of videos on how 833 cost per mile works, but I wanted to get this out first. This is $2 a mile. The next video I'm gonna do will be 250 a mile using the same numbers. So please stay tuned and look for that video. Be safe out there. Haul good paying freight, refuse the cheap freight, and God bless. Let's get through this together.